Welcome back to Tahoe tonight. One of my favorite guests ever in the Tahoe studio here is Dr. Dave Borges. And because he comes in, he's a chiropractor here. And how many how many years have you been doing chiropractic business? Uh, 36. 36. So he's been doing it for years. He's got a great network, a great team there. Yeah. But he just comes in and he talks about Lake Tahoe history here, not even his own business. So I, I absolutely <laughs> love it. I learn something new every time. And the subject on this one are Lake Tahoe airfields from the past and into the present of what we have now. So let's get right into it. Yeah, absolutely. We started uh, landing airplanes in Lake Tahoe on fields in the 1930s. There was an airplane that was a, a seaplane that landed in Tahoe, I think, in the 1920s. Okay. But it wasn't until the 1930s they were actually landing. They landed in Barton Field, where Barton Memorial Hospital is now. They, they landed by where Tahoe Keys was. Let's bring up that map uh, while you, oh, yeah, while you sort of map. highlight some of those so people get the reference a little bit. Yeah, so. there we are. And, and there's Johnson's Field where the uh, golf course is, the municipal mm -hmm. golf course, Bijou Golf Course. They used to land there as well. And the, but these weren't uh, developed airfields. They were just landing planes and taken off. Right. The right. first one was Sky Harbor Airport. Started from 1946, went to 1956. And you look in that picture in the background, you can see Round Hill. Round Hill. Yeah. With an okay. airplane right next to it. So that's basically where sort of Lakeside Inn is Lake, to Lake give Sa people a, a yeah, reference. Yeah, Kale there. Drive. And Lakeside so Inn. why'd they shut that one down? O only 10 years of operation. Well, it was dangerous. Uh, oh. it was, you had to, to land an airplane, you'd have to go over the field from the mountainside to the lakeside to scare the cattle out of the way. And then you had to go over the lake and come back in up the hill, uh, which, wasn't, uh, which was dangerous. And, right. And the, there was, was no out route. Right? Yeah, there's, uh, there's no abort uh, plan at all. You had to stop that or you're running into the highway or, or, <laughs> or casino right. up there. Uh, so they became very dangerous. And that's part of the Sky Harbor Airport with Mount Talak in the background, if you can see that. But they had to fence the cows out to prevent them eating the fabric of the wings. Right. They, they liked the <laughs> wing resin yeah. and they would chew oh, on the wings. Oh, yeah, I bet. I and bet. that wasn't good. But over by Tahoe Keys, between Tahoe Keys and Pope Beast, there was a plan in 1951 to construct a 400 tarmac uh, where if airplanes could be on the wow. tarmac, 400 yeah. of them right there. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, there have been a lot of planes in the lake if you took off and lost power, and you, there are big problems there. So that didn't happen. These are some ambitious people. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> Tahoe's always been. I, I mean, I ride my bike through that meadow where they proposed that one, and that's that's not a long runway. So mm. uh, yeah, <laughs> this is back idea. in the day too. Yeah. Okay. But so 19, what's this one here? 1959. That was the one that we currently have. Barton Memorial Hospital. Barton Cattle. Uh, they had a cattle ranch. They used part of that property to make this. A lot of the casinos put some money into it, and that's what we first saw. Now you can see what you had pointed out I thought was great was the meandering uh, Upper Truckee River, right. which right. they straightened. And now they're meandering back again. <laughs> <laughs> and they're back in. And this, is one of the, this is one of the funnier things that you've brought in here. This, yeah. this is cool. It's appropriate for today's uh, snowstorm. Uh, based upon the, the amount of snow, they, they didn't package the luggage properly in this plane and when it snowed, the tail got so much snow, it decided to, to drop and the front end came up and it grounded that plane for quite a while. Wow, cool, always love it. We've got about 30 seconds left. Give a plug to your chiropractic business, please. He's so <laughs> humble, such a humble guy here in the community. You've got two styles of practice with yourself and your wife, Dr. Karen. Yeah, she does Activator, which is an instrument adjusting and she's a specialist in that. Uh, and I do Gonset technique, which is the where you hear the popping and the cracking. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm a specialist in that. I've got credentialed on, on the Gonset technique. We also do Department of Transportation exams uh, for the big rig drivers. Yep. And then we do uh, drug testing in our office as well. All right. Dr. David Borges, everybody, from Borges Chiropractic and one of the best brains here in the Tahoe Basin for history. That's a wrap here on Tahoe Tonight. We'll be back.